guys. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show you something I found. Um, this is for the original Xbox. Um, it's pretty cool. I didn't even know these existed until like the other day. Um, well, I say the other day, I didn't actually get it delivered to the other day, but uh, yeah, basically it's a silent scope light gun for the original Xbox. Um, this thing is absolutely massive. Um, I didn't even know there were light guns for the original Xbox um, until I was looking online a couple of weeks ago. Um, I saw this and ordered it. Uh, it was 10 quid. Um, but yeah, it got delivered the other day and came boxed, which was pretty cool. I didn't even know it was going to be boxed, but yeah, this thing is pretty feature packed. Um, I'll run through some of the things it's got. Just off the, It's got a motion. If you don't know if you've ever played uh, Silent Scope, but uh, basically it's a, a sniper game, but um, it's got a motion activated scope on it so basically when you put your head up to the, the scope it zooms in automatically for you um, it's got a pump action reload mechanism it's got um, linear kickback as well so you pull the trigger the gun will uh, kick back on you um, and also you can dismantle it and it turns into a shotgun as well um, but yeah it's pretty cool you can see that there in the box, light, light rifle and shotgun, that's it, that's the rifle there, um, the other side you've got the, the shotgun view of it, yeah, so it's got like this massive barrel on it and you can see the parts to it there, but I'll crack this open and I'll show you all the different uh, components to it and how it goes together and everything, so yeah. Okay, so I'll crack it open, I'll show you what's inside. Um, so there. So right away, you've got your your barrel here, and you've got the stock as well. Pretty huge. And underneath that, you've got your scope. It's got plastic on either end. And underneath that, you have the main body of the gun. Of that. So there you've got the um just chuck that on there. There you've got your um that's it as a shotgun. That's pretty cool. So you've got the reload there and your trigger. It's pretty meaty, it's huge. Um, yeah, so that's going to be great for games like uh, House of the Dead 3. I picked it up for like 3 quid the other day. Um, I'll show you some gameplay footage of that in a minute. But you can assemble the gun. And see the scope here, and that goes on the top. And then you've got your, your stock. Try and work it which way this goes again. Yep, like that. No, no. Not like that. And that clips in there. And you've got your barrel. That clips in there. And you twist it on like that. So I can't even get the whole thing in shot. It's way too big. But there you go. Huge. And you've got all these different buttons and buttons and stuff up here, and I'll give you a closer view of that in two seconds. But uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, just dismantle that again. As a shotgun, um, yeah, great for games like House of the Dead 3. We can't let everyone's death be in vain. Hurry! out of my way so yeah as you can see it's pretty pretty huge um, I can't even get it 
completely in shot. I've tried everything, I've tried moving the camera as far back as possible, but that's the best I can do. Um, basically, it's the size of a kind of assault rifle, um, pretty huge. Um, just to give you kind of some perspective on the size, um, that's your normal 360 controller there. That's that compared to it. So uh, yeah, pretty big. So I'll give you a bit of a close up tour of the gun here. Um, yep, yeah, so basically when you put your head, you put your face up to the, the scope there. Um, in the game, uh, silent scope. What will happen is it'll, your wee reticle will just be a normal size on the screen. Um, but when you put your face up to the, the scope, it'll actually zoom in as if you were looking through a, a, a scope, I suppose. But um, yeah, this has got like a, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got a light sensor here. And you can adjust the sensitivity of that there so that when you put your face up to it, it zooms in and out kind of thing. Um, you can see that sensitivity there. Um, you've got the scope trigger on and off so that's to disable that feature if you don't want it. You've got a wee analog control stick there for the menus. You've got the trigger here and like I was saying before you've got a uh, linear kickback so when you pull the trigger you can hear that that's the motor inside kicking. I suppose it'll just be a weight or something to give you a wee bit of recoil. Um, along the side of the gun you've got your start button, your back button, your white button, your X button. You've also got the reload, the pump action reload. There. Um, on the other side you have, you can disable the kickback. Turn it on and off. Um, and then you've got your uh, automatic fire reload settings here. So you've got um, normal, auto reload, auto fire and burst fire. Like that. Um, you've got a Y button, black button and that'll be your back button as well. So you've got that there. You've also got a wee slot on the back for a memory card if you want to put that in as well. Um, but the cool thing about this gun is um, if you've seen the Dreamcast review I did of a it was a um, Desert Eagle gun and that had a uh, kickback as well but the cool thing with this is it doesn't need an external power source it just plugs dir directly into the the Xbox so um, that's pretty cool you don't need to bother about getting a power supply and all that kind of stuff but yeah um, yeah so there you go so yeah um, as I was saying the gun is basically designed to be used with uh, silent scope um, which is like a rail shooter um, you probably well, you might have played this in the arcade um, but yeah what I was saying is um, the cool thing with this gun is the the scope so when you put your face up to the the scope it zooms in on the screen um, it's kind of difficult to explain so I'll, I'll show you a wee bit of a uh, gameplay footage uh, that I took the other day um, don't laugh I had to use the normal controller to take it because obviously I couldn't use this on a uh, when I was using the capture card, I had to plug it into the LCD screen, so I couldn't use this. Obviously, old school um, light guns, you need a, a CRT screen, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, check out the game footage of this. Um, give you a better idea of what the gun's actually used for. Guys, um, that is the silent scope light gun slash shotgun slash rifle, whatever you want to call it. Um, lots of fun. Definitely pick one up if you can find it. Um, 
As I say, I picked mine up online for like 10 quid, delivered. I um, was lucky enough to get the box with it as well. Um, but it's great if you're into your uh, rail shooter, so House of the Dead 3, obviously, Silent Scope. Um, most of you probably played that in the arcade at some point. Um, that's got the three arcade games and the, the one disc there, that's pretty cool. Doesn't cost, don't, they won't cost you very much money nowadays, I think that was like three quid. That was about four. Um, I know you can get that for cheaper, um, but yeah, definitely check these out if you're into your light gun games and uh, um, yeah, pick one of these up if you can find it. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon.